welcome back to Left Coast EV and welcome to another fast charger review. And today we have, well, I've left the, 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 the biggest company last, which is ChargePoint. So we are actually right now um, at a brand new fast charger that uh, ChargePoint has installed very close to where I live in Coquitlam. Um, and it's rated at 62.5 kilowatt hours. So a little bit more than a 50 kilowatt hour um, uh, charger that we have from BC Hydro before. Um, and the goal today is, well, to review the charger as always and to see how much actual kilowatt we're getting from, from charging. So right now looking at SoulSpy, um, the battery is at around 18, 19 degrees, so it's pretty good. Um, and let's see how much we're actually gaining right now. So the car says 54, but SoulSpy says 50 actual kilowatt going into the battery because obviously, you know, we have to think about, um, you know, uh, battery care and, and, and the car trying to, to uh, cool the battery as it's charging. But um, so we're getting a solid 50 right now. The charger is rated at 62. So I wonder if it, the battery warms up a little bit more if we're gonna get a little bit more charge. But um, uh, I'm going to show you guys uh, throughout the process how we're, we're doing it as always. Um, right now we're charging up to 80% as always, which will take, according to the car, 53 minutes. That's a long time. Um, that's on par with what BC Hydro did for me. Um, so we'll see um, if this is any better or if this gets my recommendation. Um, it might be an expensive charge, so <laughs> uh, we'll see. We'll see the pricing afterwards. So stick around and then you guys will uh, will get a review from, uh, not a review, a summary at the end from me. And um, we're going to look at how much everything uh, costs and, 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 and see see if it's worth it to, to charge that 10 to 80. I believe we started, I, I think, like 11%. Now we're at 15 um, and I'll be checking in periodically as we as we see. Now we've increased to 51.8 um, and the car is showing 55. I'll flip the camera around later and show you guys how it goes. But I wonder if we're actually going to get the full 62.5. Um, not sure. We will see. We'll see. Okay. I'll be uh, back a little bit later once we hit some maybe 20%, 25%. All right, guys. Time for an update. Um, we have put um how many percent but about 15 percent i would say into the battery so far we're at 25 percent 106 kilometer kilometers of range and it kind of topped out for a second there at um at uh, 55 um so that was the highest that i saw but i got to show you guys something really really cool um and i think that other charging companies have to follow suit and and, and do what um what charge point is doing um so the charge point app um i started the charge with an rfid card but as you guys can see here sorry my reflections in the way today is actually a very sunny day so as you guys can see here we have the charging curve displayed on a graph now how awesome is this and exactly how much money we're spending so far so two dollars 63 cents for 13 minutes yeah 11.52 kilowatt hour added okay not the speed how much we've added yeah so right now it is at 53 let's see what um our good friend here soul spy says in terms of actual numbers so in terms of actual numbers, we are getting 52.2 kilowatt into the battery, 363.8 volts or 145.4 amps. So that is the actual energy that is put, being put into the battery. And let's see how warm we are. So we're at 22 to 23 degrees right now in the battery pack. So yeah, not bad. I mean, um, let's see how long this will stay at around 53 to 55. Um, the curve does show um, that there isn't much fluctuations as you guys can see here. And it's pretty much updated in real time. So I think that when we're looking at charging and, and charging speeds and evaluating charging itself, I think that charge points really well on point. <laughs> <laughs> um, with the way that they've implemented their app here because it really does make it easier for us users to kind of gauge, hey, you know, when does it really drop off? When can we, uh, you know, unplug and go because we don't want to be spending too much money, right? So look, we're at 28, 53, 
that's pretty stable. Um, to be honest, I didn't think I'm gonna get a full 62.5 out of this charger, but I am getting more than 50. Um, so the 50 kilowatt chargers that ChargePoint has here where I live, um, top out on my car at around 45, I would say. So this is still pretty dang good when it comes to just getting a quick charge. So as you guys can see, it's an industrial area. There's some sort of like technical school or something here with solar panels, which is very, very cool. I thought that they actually powered the charger, but I don't know if they do, maybe. I'll ask. Then on the other side there is my favorite deli, Arctic Deli. So if you guys are ever in Vancouver, um, come and check out Arctic. They make the best cold cuts ever. But apart from that, that's pretty much it in terms of this general area. But we'll go around the corner there and then I'll show you guys uh, a plaza where you can go get something to eat. Right behind the charger, charger's here. Right behind the charger, you've got picnic tables. So if you guys come here and charge and you want to have a little picnic in the industrial area, go ahead. So you keep walking around the corner because um, down there is an intersection and there's a Starbucks um, a cannabis store if you want to buy some cannabis. Um, uh, some sort of Asian place, but there's no sidewalk to walk on and it's a quite a busy street up there. So just be careful when you're walking around here, but yeah. Um, from the charger to there to the Starbucks would be like, I don't know, five minutes walking, I guess. All right, I'm not gonna venture further, but that's the plaza I was talking about. So you walk down from there to here. And what do we have there? Ah, uh, guy got in the way. What do we got? Um, we got a Subway, we got A&W, and we got a Starbucks, and I think like a corner store or something like that. So you just cross here, lights and all that, and then you can go there and buy stuff. And I might be a little bit old school, when it comes to different things, but I really enjoy having um, physical RFID cards when I'm charging. Um, I like the apps, obviously, those are cool, but I don't know. It's kind of nice to just have a card with you and just tap it and it's much faster than fiddling with your phone all the time. So let me know in the comments below, guys, if you are just relying on apps or you also like to, um, to have physical cards sent in. And this was for, was for free from ChargePoint. The first one's always free, so kudos to ChargePoint because BC Hydro charged me like, I think $12 or something. All right, guys, we're at 53% state of charge and we're at a steady 59 kilowatt, which is very nice. Let's see what SoulSpy says. Uh, what are we getting through SoulSpy here? SoulSpy says 58.2. Two, so pretty much on the money. 377.2 volts, 154.6 amps going into the battery. Let's see um, how warm we are right now. So we are at 29 degrees at its highest and 27 at its lowest. One more feature that I'm gonna kind of geek out about um, that I really love about these chargers is actually having a status light. So right now it's blue and you know that it's in use. If it's green, that is available. And red just means you can't charge because something's broken with the charger. So this is something that is awesome. And I think other chargers should be implementing something similar because sometimes you pull up to a charger and it doesn't work. And especially ever since I got the Tesla, when I'm driving the Tesla, um, I'm getting the same thing where sometimes chargers don't work and there are no lights to indicate that they're broken. So you pull up, you plug in and it, yeah, and it doesn't work. So charge point, one more thing that I really like about your chargers are the lights, really, really cool. And there it is, our first significant dip at 74%, it went down to 36 kilowatt. Um, let's look at our little graph here. You guys can see here, it's showing the dip um so yeah 74 so a little bit earlier than the bc hydro but only just by one percent so i wouldn't consider that a big uh a disadvantage as you guys can see we're almost finished charging we got three minutes left and that was another significant dip now we're at about 24 kilowatt so again you guys can see the curve here so ramp up up to the top here where we held that for a few good minutes and then the first little dip and then the bigger dip and now we're from 30 going down to 24. 
I wonder if that's going to stay at 24 um, or if it's going to dip just before the end. But I think it will stay at 24. There's there's no reason for it to, to go any lower than this. Charging has been completed. We're at 80% state of charge. Here's the charging curve. I'll put it up uh, as a screenshot when I do my summary for you guys. And then we'll look at the price and total everything and uh, see how long it took and all that uh, good stuff. But yeah, um, charge point on point <laughs> i'm gonna stop making that joke but really um so far i'm very happy with uh, this new charger much better than the 50 kilowatt that they have um in the city all right one more thing about the chargers that i like the top portion swivels if you need to um you know you park too far away and you need to get the cable um plugged in so it swivels which is awesome. So on this charger, you guys got Chatermo, CCS, and the swiveling top. And so you see, I'm finished, it says available. How nice. I wish everybody did that. How hard can it be? All right, guys, time for a summary. So how was ChargePoint? Did I like it? Was it a good experience? I think it is. Um, and I think it was a good experience. Um, I would definitely say it's not a fast charger that you would be using on a road trip, that's for sure. That's where you have your Electrify Canada ones, you have your Electrify America for for anybody who's watching out of the States. Um, you've got your, in Canada, um, you know, uh, Petro Canada fast chargers, even though I'm not a fan of them, as you guys know, um, still. Um, that's available and it charges the car um, faster than what we've experienced today. However, I would say that this charge point is a great city charger. And what do I mean by that? I mean, let's say that if you have to do something, right? So for example, like you're going to a shopping center or doing something while you're doing that thing, charge your car, all right? So with my Kia um, Soul EV, it took um, around one hour to fully charge the car. I will tell you guys in a second all of the stats, um, but that's a great, you know, city charger, something that you can just, you know, visit a, a, a shopping center or a supermarket or whatever, plug in and charge. Now, the biggest issue is this, that where I live, um, ChargePoint does not have many of these 62.5 kilowatt chargers. Most of them are 50 kilowatt. And those I couldn't really uh, recommend because they're too expensive for what you get. Um, I would go for the BC Hydro any day of the week. Um, so I wouldn't recommend the 50 kilowatt uh, chargers from ChargePoint, but this one, the 62.5, that's definitely something that I would recommend. Okay, anyways, um, let's jump into some numbers, all right? So here are the juicy details in terms of numbers. So. The whole charge, just like what the car said at the beginning, um, took 58 minutes from the time we plugged in. We got a total of 303 kilometers. I'm going to put a screenshot right up here for you guys. Um, we put in 49.52 kilowatt hours um, were added into the battery. And the total cost was $11.68 Canadian. And as you guys can see, the graph is pretty amazing. Um, I can still move my finger around and get all the all the juicy details around the curve. And at 20 minutes, exactly 20 minutes into the charge, we jump up to 58, then go up to like 58, 59. Um, that's pretty amazing, I have to say. And um, we topped off uh, 59. When did we hit 59 here? We hit 59 and it was a steady 59 from 27 minutes in um, at a, uh, it doesn't say the state of charge, unfortunately. But yeah, 27 minutes into the charge, we've got that 59 kilowatt, which then kind of um, continued all the way down then to 24 at the end. So not bad. Like I said, screenshot right here. You guys can have a look. So. Do I recommend it? Yes, I do. For a specific purpose. So just like I said, it's the city charger. Go to the store, plug in, charge. Would you be using this on a road trip? 
only if you have to. There are faster, better options out there. But what I do like, I love the app that shows me the charging curve. I love the way that the hinge on the top moves. So if you park a little bit further away, you can still plug in quite easily. What I love, I love the light that says it's available or in use, or if it's broken, it just says that, right? Um, you know, uh, 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 and it, it's it's just colored, you know, you got green for okay, red for don't come because it doesn't work, and blue when somebody's charging. So they add colors to everything, and it's, it's just, I don't understand why other companies are not doing that. Honestly, everybody, get together and finally do something about this, because it's not only me saying this, but every EV owner says the same thing. We pull up to chargers, and we don't know if they're working or not so let's get this together learn from charge point they've managed to do it i don't know what's stopping the rest of you guys you know from doing the same so yes i recommend it as a city charger definitely road trip charger ah not as much um but if you need a charge it's always there i am very excited that now i will be able to go to america because the borders are open with canada and i want to check out the charge point DC fast chargers really fast ones I think they got like 150 kilowatt ones or something like that I don't even know but I want to go and test those out because for now I love it okay so for $11.68 that was a great charge so I highly recommend it if you guys are driving in the city check it out and use it all right that's it thank you so much for watching stay tuned for more videos and I will see you in the next one. Take care and bye-bye.